this is Barry with Fire and Ice Outdoor Gear.com and we are on another adventure. I am at Turtle Island. Have you ever watched um, the TV show Mountain Men? In the North Carolina wilderness. There we go. Trainee homesteaders Ashley and Harrison are holding up their end of an important bargain, trading their labor in exchange for survival lessons from a mountain master. You guys getting the chickens fed? Yeah. Hey, good morning. I'm at Eustace's property. Um, there's some things I can't film here. Um, I'm not allowed to. I'm gonna spend seven days out here. Um, I'm allowed to camp out here. I got a, a friend of mine named Kelly. It's intimidating for smaller people like children. All he has to do now is convince a potential buyer that it's the right setup for his 10-year-old daughter. Good to see you. How you been? Hey, Tosh, how are you? you? Doing okay? Yeah. And right now, he needs every... He invited me to come out here and, and let me camp and stuff. We already got in a little situation we're gonna a uh, hot tent. I got a big yurt tile style hot tent. It's a 10 by 12. Sounds like he's about coming. But so the situation is we are t driving four wheelers and we got stuck trying to go up this mountain. This ditch right here, we can't get this up here. So yeah, this is where we got stuck right here. Yeah, here he comes. But uh, yeah, let's try to get him unstuck. And uh, we're going to regroup because it's starting to get super late. It doesn't look like we're going to be camping tonight in the hot tent. We're going to stay in the cabin and we'll be camping uh, tomorrow. It's just too late and we're, we're struggling. But this, there he is right there. We're going to get him hooked up. We'll be right back. next to that crazy we're like so deep in the woods it's, looks like we got a tree that fell he's got to cut it been here before. This is pretty cool. Now this isn't Eustace's property. There's something cool I want to show you right here stream comes through. Used to just built this bridge. But uh oh Lord. Let me grab this. Oh these keep falling off. They don't want to stay. Let's see. Put you two right there. Alright.
place is called, the sanctuary. It's a dry cabin, there's no water. We just have a fireplace. Out of his way. There we go, come on, come on, come on. So we're at the cabin. I wanted to give you a tour around. So we're gonna be cooking on the open fire. Kelly, he went out. This is his hunting cabin. This is on this is on Eustace's property. Kelly killed a cow this year, I believe this, yeah, it was this year. And uh, uh, that's a big old sirloin. But I'll give you a tour of this place. This uh this tree fell down this year on top of there. That's the a little bit of it left, but it messed up that. A guy named Nathan built this house like 20 years ago with his wife. They actually built this and birthed two children in here. They lived in here for, I don't know, quite a few years. Open it up, come on. We got the stove on. There is no power in here. So hopefully you can see this. Actually, let's see if I can, cause it's five o'clock right now. Yeah. But I got the fireplace going right now. Um, let's see here. It's at, close that up. But yeah, two children and a husband and wife lived here, built this. And now he has his own kind of thing going, just like Eustace does, like learning with bears or something like that. I can't remember what it's called. This is his little place, but what a cool place. There's no water at it. There's actually a little bit of a stream right there they uh, would pull water from. Now this is where Kelly, he um, hunts, it brings people out here to hunt with him. He's actually gonna be, he's out at a blind right now. And I got a, I'm tending to the fire. But yeah, this is where he processes the deer. He killed one, I think last week or the week before. I love this, this is insane. But yeah, I wanted to give you a little, like 20 years ago, he built that from scratch. Eustace is um, intern. There's a pretty cool story behind it. I'm going to get these coals going and we'll get a, we'll cook dinner.
Was there any? It doesn't pull. show any. Pop that out. Right there. That's it. You gotta push that button. Now. Woohoo! Now we've got light. So this is a how many? It's a 2000 watt solar charger. So it looks like 29 hours with this all set up. Got lights outside. And that's battery charged. But, um, yeah, I don't get it to see the, because I couldn't turn the cabin on before. It's like 29 hours. But, yeah. Cool. All right. We gotta get down here. You can feel the heat up here. Bam. <sighs> so, we're gonna have butter beans and steak. So let's get this thing cooking. All right. We're gonna take this to the fire. There we go. All right. Let's cook up some steaks and some butter beans. All right. Got there. That is insane. I'm gonna show everybody that. That is a sirloin. That's insane. That is crazy. I've never seen one that big before. Really? Yeah, that's huge. All my sirloins are that big. Huh? All my sirloins are that big. That's what I'm talking about. bones and sirloins and pepper cube steak and to be quite honest with you this the cube steak is my favorite oh yeah I believe that I believe that cube steak with just a little salt on it fried up mm -hmm. <laughs> that does sound good I think there's some rib steaks in there too. Man, this is nice. Who was the guy that was on the bike trip with you? Jason. Or actually the kayak trip. Jason. Jason. He um, he owns Wahala Hammocks. He uh, he makes hammocks and tarps. Okay. Yeah, he lives actually in I guess Wahala, South Carolina. Yep. So all I got is the banana hammocks that come free with you line. Yeah. <laughs> You're all right in a pinch, you know. Oh yeah, hundred percent. I slept uh, out the winter camp in one. Yeah, that, it's absolutely fine. Jason's a real nice as well. Dutchware uh, products. He's actually made me a. Just want y'all to see that one more time for. <laughs> he made me. That's not from the store. No, no, I, I told him that. You got your uh, your knife on you? Yep. I'm looking, just checking on it. I got a, a fork, but I don't know if you want to just use the knife. Yeah, do you have a fork or you you have to go get it? No, it's right up here. Yeah, I can I can use your the fork. Bam, bam. <laughs> Yeah, Turtle Island. It seems appropriate being at Turtle Island. China. Fine China. <laughs> no way. Did you, you want a drink? Uh, 
there's water on the porch. Bottle of water. Yeah. I got you one. Did you want to put anything in this, or you drink it straight? I drink it straight. You want another knife? I think this one will do. Did you try it? All right, it is time for bed. It is like 10, almost 11 o'clock, and it is hot up here. What are we looking like? We got 42 hours, 89%. It's just been running the lights. I'm gonna charge my phone as well. Charge this phone. Charge my phone. Did you bring your charger? Oh yeah. And that's where I'm sleeping tonight. Got the uh, lighting equipment. There it is. Oh. The little sugar gliders. 37 are... more hours, 89%. Nice. Alright, guys, we're going to bed. I'll talk to y'all tomorrow.